Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe, our teacher, was the first Jewish prophet. The Jewish people had just become a nation, left uh, Mitzrayim, Egypt, uh, 3,500 years ago, and went out into the desert, and 50 days later uh, received the Torah. Moshe received the Torah from the heavens and brought it down to the earth. All of the books of the Torah are based in prophecy. The laws of prophecy are written uh, uh, in, in, in the Rambam, uh, Sefer Chazacha, the uh, strong hand, 14 books explaining the laws of the 613 commandments which are in the five books of Moshe. And, and in his explanation, the Rambam uh, uh, explains how it is one knows whether a prophet is a true prophet or not. And he gives this example. If it was that the, the city needed water, and the prophet said there will be rain tomorrow from sunup until sundown, and it rains, it starts raining at sunup, and an hour before sundown it stops raining, then um, that's a false prophet. And important prophecy. Everything was based on prophecy. One did not pervert the prophecy one bit. If any book in the Torah, <clears throat> if any book in the Torah contradicts the prophecy, then it's not Torah. But anything of all the books in the Torah, Anything that uh, uh, that doesn't contradict the Torah, the law is, it is Torah. The Torah in its um, uh, first form were the five books of Moshe. And in the five books of Moshe were, uh, are the 613 commandments. And later, there were another um, uh, 19 books called uh, Nach, n n uh, the um, Nevim and the Ketuvim, the Prophets, and the, uh, the Writings, and then five Megillot, all in all 29 books of the written Torah. And... Um, Therefore, when I brought my friend, um, Fadi, to my little room to show him my library, he said, I want to give you a present. And he sent me, he brought me um, later, this, the Tree of the Prophets. And e even though uh, I don't read Arabic, it was extremely meaningful to me because I felt it expressed uh, in a, a, a very graphic way, the deep connection between our peoples, the Arab people and the uh, Jewish people. At the uh, base of the trunk is uh, the circle that is autumn. And he was the first, he was the progenitor of all the human beings on this planet. And along the trunk, uh, leading to the place where the branches part, are different prophets like Enoch, Noah, but at Avraham, Avraham is blessed, and his children will become prophetic children. And one branch is the branch of uh, Yishmael, which goes for uh, over 2,000 years, before it produces the prophet Muhammad. And on the other branch are the Jewish people, who during that time produce many prophets. And our, our peoples are one uh, because of the prophecy uh, that we practice. In our books, the Jewish people 
uh, through the rabbis have the tradition that every um, a letter in the Torah must be written precisely on the the cloth on uh, on the uh, uh, the skin that it's written upon in hand. So the tradition was passed along without uh, 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 being uh, tampered with. And the same with the Quran, that the Quran, since it was read, uh, spoken by Muhammad the prophet. So every uh, generation, there are hundreds of thousands of people dedicated to speaking the Quran precisely as the Prophet spoke the Quran. And there are actually, in these three books, we can see really the key to world peace. The Sefer Yitzira in the middle was written by Avraham 4,000 years ago. And on the right is the Torah, and on the left is the Quran. And uh, in my library, I put nothing above the Torah, and I put nothing above the Quran, because both are prophecies that came from Avraham. Sefer Yitzira, the, uh, uh, the book of form is not just about uh, creation, as we see on the cover is the zodiac, but also it is uh, a very short little explanations, uh, but it is also very short little uh, explanations about the form of the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. Abraham understood language from its very source. And the reason that Avraham had this capacity was Avraham came from the Tower of Babel and retained the secret of speech and taught to his, uh, 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 to his son Yishmael a language uh, of the heart and to the Jewish people, language of the head. And each one had their private history as to how they would arrive at being a uh, clear vessel for that prophecy that would come from heaven. And, uh, and it's through the prophecy that our peoples are one, and it's through the prophecies and understanding and accepting uh, uh, the laws and you know, the dictates that are in those prophecies for each people, that certainly this will bring about uh, peace in the Middle East. Oh, I forgot. So, uh, this is going to be my last uh, uh, video from San Francisco at least for a while, because I'm moving to New York. So if anyone would like to uh, learn with me or uh, get a tarot card reading from me, uh, look me up on jewishbohemian.com if you're out on the East Coast.